Hello everybody and welcome. My name is Soraka Toshiko, proud member of Goonswarm Federation, Gurgoons, and Karma Fleet. I'm the tiny neat guy in the lower left corner there. So um, I got asked quite a few times now uh, after uploading my video on how to safely read in a carrier and or super carrier if I couldn't do another video about yeah, you can see it, how to control your fighters. And this obviously is just what I did. So let's get right into it. You will need just a few shortcuts to get going and to make life much easier for you. First is already set by default. It is your orbit key, which would normally be the W key on your keyboard. This will normally let your own ship orbit something in space but if you have fighters deployed you can also let your fighters orbit something and let your ship go into a completely other direction the recall command is the same as with drones just shift and r and your fighters will be recalled to their launch tubes their bombs will be refilled they will be repaired whatever and we will need to set up commands or shortcuts for the select fighters command, select own ship and previous and next target. So we just hit escape and this menu will pop up. We go to shortcuts obviously and as I've already have a, if it, la, 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 if I, as I already have it selected English complicated um, yeah we're going with this one first so the select fighters command I have it set to um, the one on my numpad and as I'm a German guy you see some odd and elongated word right here you can just put it wherever you like so select all fighters what this will do is <laughs> obviously it will select all of your fighters so if you by accident select it just one squadron and you don't only want to give commands out to this one squadron but to all of your squadrons you just hit the select all fighters button and boom you will be giving commands to all your fighters again hey great thing next thing is toggle ship selection or how did i put it select own ship yeah so that's basically the same um toggle ship selection will allow you to either select your own ship or not having it selected. And if you don't have it selected and you have your fighters out and you have your fighters all selected, you will be giving commands to your fighters instead of your own ship. So you can face your ship into one direction and your fighters going into the opposite direction. Good thing. So you can stay aligned and only give move commands to your fighters. Next thing is under the navigation tab. Scroll down for a little bit and you will find the select next target and select, select previous target commands. Just make sure that the according shortcuts are somewhere on the keyboard where they are next to each other so you don't have to be looking all over your keyboard um, to swap between select previous and select next target so what you can do with this setting is oh well, let me just put it the other way around um normally you would just click to select a target move your mouse to where the fire button of your fighters are click this move your mouse down or up or whatever again select another target move it back to the fire button click the fire button select the next target with the mouse so you would be constantly moving your mouse back and forth so you don't need to do this you just click fire button select next target click next fire button and so you can leave your mouse where it is basically only moving between the fire buttons and select targets with your keyboard shortcuts so this is a very convenient way of doing it way of doing it <coughs> so once we did all this we're almost ready to go if we followed all the um, 
tips and tricks from my other videos. So I mark my local chat. I have my Intel channel open. I have my Intel program running. I have my scout next door, my fax on standby. And I already have scanned down my current system for signatures. And as you can see, I have an unstable wormhole here in system, but I know that this one poses absolutely no threat to me. So I choose to ignore it. Okay. So I turn on my omnidirectional tracking links, which is not um, critical, but which I just do right before I warp. So I don't have to do this in the next site. Then I scan down the site I want to be doing. And I showed you a horribly complicated way of how to scan down signatures in uh, the how to safely read video because you can just hold down your descan button and then click on the signature you want to scan and you already scanned it. So you don't need to align and then look where the thin blue line is going to and then hold down C and click it and descan. Um, I was told by a guy watching my video and I felt very, very stupid for not knowing this. But it proves once again, you never stop learning, neither in life nor in Eve. So just take this better trick from me now. Hold down the, your D-scan button, click the signature you want to be doing and see if there's somebody in there already. Nope, nobody in there. Or, and we warp in within 50, for example. Okay, now what we do is I show you the toggle ship selection command. If I hit it and I see this blue circle appearing around my capacitor, this means I have my own ship selected, which will also be indicated by this small blue sphere here. If I hit it again, both will disappear. So what this does is basically nothing until I have fighters deployed. Before I have fighters deployed, it doesn't really matter if I have got my ship selected or not every command I give out will be given to my ship. If I have my ship not selected, but click select all fighters and you will see those blue circles appear around my fighters. I still will be giving the command to my ship because the fighters have not yet been deployed. But once they have and I have them selected, I can give commands to my fighters instead of giving it to my ship or giving them, meaning the commands to my ship. <coughs> I'm sorry, <clears throat> I still have not gotten over my flu yet. So I'm coughing from time to time. I hope that's not too loud for you guys. Okay, first thing we do upon dropping out of warp is of course we align out. We align out immediately. So we just double click the citadel we want to be, uh, to be aligning at. And now, as my fighters have not yet undocked, I can hit the F1 button and the F2 button and I will start my network sensor array and my micro warp drive and just target all the enemies within the wave. Then I start my fighters and let them orbit some enemy ship. How do I do this? Well, basically all my fighters have their, those blue circles around them, meaning I'm giving commands to them. My ship doesn't, so I'm not giving a move command to my ship. So I hold down the, the orbit button and click just any enemy to get my fighters going into the right direction and to cover the time my ship would normally need locking um, the enemy NPCs if I wasn't talking so much. Okay, and now I start attacking them. I just click, select next target, move over, click, select next target, move over, click. Now I select a little bit. Uh, I, I just press the select target button or shortcut a little bit more often because I tend to have my light fighters attack the smaller ships and then I select the other ships and launch a few rocket salvos. And then I repeat it all over until 
every ship in this wave is dead. So I don't need to move my mouse around too much. Sometimes you will see uh, me manually selecting a target. Um, yeah, that's just when I feel like it. So there's not a 100% rule. But I see I'm getting close to the end of this wave. And I select my network sensor array again. And as you can see now, my Amitad was hit. It's down to 20% of health. So it's very close of losing one fighter here. And why was that? Because I wasn't paying attention. You can just um, rewind a few seconds and look at it. This Amitad was not moving. So once your fighters kill an enemy ship and they don't get a new command, they will just sit there, let their speed drop to zero and thus they will not be able to mitigate damage. So as you can imagine, this is not a good thing. So once they, your ships uh, killed or your fighters kill the ship, try to get them going as soon as possible. Either give them a new attack command or just let them orbit something. And then they will stop moving again, thus being able to mitigate most of the incoming damage. And as you can see, I just launch some rocket salvos every now and then. And sometimes I just do like I feel. Maybe there would even be much more um, room for improvement. And yes, there. Are, I am sure there are many guys out there that can do all this way better than me. But if you can improve with my humble few tips and tricks, and this is a help for you, then I already achieved my goal. Okay, so what you also can do is you can also give a launch bomb command for your heavy fighters. So bombs are basically the thing uh, you know from stealth bombers. It will be an yeah an unguided weapon that's just going into the direction you specify. I will show you how to do this. Let me just recall my light fighters because I don't want them to end up in the explosion radius of the bombing run. So you make sure your fighter. Oh, sorry now I gave the orbit command to all my fighters again. You make want to make sure your heavy fighters are orbiting um, the enemy ships in the proper distance and then hit the F3 button. And this will give you this blue line and you can select the distance of where the other ships are. And if you have the tactical overlay, so here, here we go, tactical overlay open, this will show you those white spots on the same plane as your ship is on. This will show how far the enemy ships are away. And as there's a good bunch of them here, I will select this range. As you can see, that's about 75 kilometers or somewhere around this. Also, this white line connecting the white dots here on the plane indicating the distance is being connected to the actual ship um, with this thin white line here. I think I messed up the sentence, but I think you know what I mean. So those white dots here are connected to the actual ship with these white lines, indicating if they are below the plane of my ship or above, if it would lead upwards. This is important for your bombing run because with the first click, click, you set your distance. And now if you move, move your mouse around, you can select the angle. So does it go upwards or will it go downwards? Whoops. My light fighters obviously were moving. Okay, so I just shoot in the middle of the enemy's face, recall my fighters, so my, small, uh, my light fighters move out of... Um, the dangerous area and I let my heavy fighters attack the battleships and now the bombs land 
And if I hadn't waited for so long for the enemy um, to spread, I would have dealt much more damage to them with just one bombing run. But that's how it works. You select your bomb. With the first click, you select the distance. And with the second click, um, while moving your mouse around, you can select the angle in which the bombs should be launched. And then they will go there and explode and kill everything that's there within their range. Also, your own fighters. And this is why I personally don't like to have my light fighters around when doing this. <coughs> I mean, I'm flying a Nyx, so my fighters get quite a very good bonus to hit points and they will be able to survive a full bombing run of my heavy fighters. But still, I don't want to take any chances because fighters are expensive. And why should I waste my precious isks? Okay, so congratulations. We just cleared our first site with a few nice shortcuts. Now we can use the Shift and R command to recall our fighters. This, I feel, depends a little bit because you also have the um, micro jump drive ability of your heavy fighters, which will enable them to jump 100 kilometers into a direction you specify. So the closer your fighters are away from, or let's put it a little bit differently. Um, if your fighters would be at 100 kilometers away from you, you could just jump them to your own ship at zero and they will be able to just spool up their micro jump drive, land on your ship at zero and right land in the launch tube. If they are at 50 kilometers and you jump them to your ship, they would end up 50 kilometers on the other side of your ship, which would render this completely useless. So the closer they are to being 100 kilometers away from your ship, the better. So like 78 kilometers. So um, let me just check where my fighters are. For this, I give the return command and then there will be blue lines appearing indicating from where my fighters are coming and I just give the command to jump to the opposite side of my ship so it will end up somewhere here between 20 and 30 kilometers away as 70 or 100 minus 70 kilometers will be somewhere around there you got it 38 and now it's much closer to my ship than this fighter for example that I didn't jump so you can save yourself a little bit of time there. And if your fighters are out 100 kilometers, you can just directly jump them to your ship and save you even more time. About the light fighters, this doesn't really matter so much because they have a micro warp drive, which will allow them to go insanely fast, even without having a um, drone navigation computer. I guess they will be doing uh, 7,000 meters a second or even faster. Okay, once your fighters have landed in your ship, you can go to the next signature and repeat this all over again. Or, of course, if you like to, you can also leave your fighters behind, warp to the next signature, recall your fighters and get going again. But then your fighters would not be repaired in the meantime and they wouldn't, be, uh, they wouldn't get new bombs and or rockets. So that's a little bit of a difference. And maybe you saw how I uh, target my enemies. I will just use a rectangle to target them. You can do this by just holding down the control button and then with the left mouse button drawing a rectangle and everything within it will be targeted. To fully cover this topic, you should know how to... Um, set your overview settings. If you don't fully know what you're doing, don't fuck around with the overview settings. Please, please, please. Death by overview settings is a thing. So I will just show you um, what I did. Um, yeah, very roughly. So I have my, where do we go? I have my overview settings, like the PVE tab here. 
and for the for every tab i can select a bracket pre preset and you can adjust your brackets so that you get to see only certain kind of things in space do we have it no this wasn't the one Mm, where did I put it? Ah. Yeah, great. Now that I want to explain it, uh, I mix it all up. Yeah, now I know again. Okay, so you set your um, overview settings up the way that you don't see anything you don't want to target. On your overview and Enemy once you open uh, or you start targeting here in space everything within the rectangle will be targeted if you don't ha have Rex like here we go wreck I have no Rex here if I would select them I would get to see them on my overview as well as in the brackets here I deactivate this I don't so make an overview setting that only shows the brackets in space that you also want to be targeting when drawing this rectangle and you will be targeting everything within this rectangle and thus you don't need to keep clicking around here in your overview to target every new ship with a single click you just draw a rectangle and boom there you go i know this this was a, a little bit yeah this wasn't as uh, elegant as i would have liked to explain it to you but to explain this fully i would need to prepare a little bit and uh, i guess the video for explaining how to set your overview properly would be another 30 minutes so maybe i'm doing this next time maybe not but now at least you know How to control your fighters so i hope this video was a little bit of help to you and i would love to see your comments below and please let me know what i could do better because i'm always trying to improve thanks a lot for watching yours suraka toshiko oh and ps feel free to hit me up on the forums or on mumble or uh, wherever you can grab me if you have any questions if I can help you not losing your fighters and not losing your ship, I will be there for you. Alright, bye bye.